going to be going over my painting that I took from an Inktober drawing and bringing it a little bit further to a further finish. It's still technically a work in progress, but it's I recorded it, so I'm going to make a video out of it. Um, explain the process. So here, I it started out as a square, as you can see earlier. Um, the reason why was because I did all my Inktobers as a square format, so it was easier to post on Instagram. Um, however, when I'm painting, I usually like to paint in a widescreen aspect ratio. So the first thing I did was widen the composition. And here I started um, yeah, blocking out shapes with the lasso tool. And now I am importing some clouds because I had clouds in there just to get some texture, just to help me start painting a little bit. Going back to the lasso tool right now and desaturating everything so that I could just focus on values. Uh, here I moved the head of the dragon to the side so that I think since it's a widescreen he didn't need to be in the center made the composition a little more interesting um, here I added some wings just because it made the silhouette also a little bit more interesting um, blocking in more shadow shapes uh, using a lasso tool lasso tool and a gradient brush is a great tool for just getting like quick shapes down um, it's really easy to make things look too sharp, so you need to remember to go back to paint over it, but yeah, it's a really good good starting. Uh, here I started adding some color. I set one of my layers to be overlay, and then I had a reference of some other piece of art that I was using for the colors, and I tried to emulate a little bit of that mood. So I just add those stuff in there. And now. I am starting to paint in the lighting of where the uh, yeah where the light source is coming from. So um, I wanted to do more of like a top-down lighting. Uh, so I spent a lot of time on these rocks right now, but in the end, I actually ended up changing the way it looks pretty drastically. So it was pretty much a bunch of wasted time, or a lot of time exploring. Right now, you can see how the the painting, it's the character is on the hillside in a way. It's slanted, but I think the way I was painting the rocks, I was painting them more horizontal, and it made the painting look like it was kind of leaning in a way I didn't like. So right now, yeah, you'll see eventually how. I'll edit it and fix it. In the beginning stages, it's kind of messy, so I'm just kind of uh, just exploring the different shadows to see what kind of uh, rock shapes I can get. Um, that's something I need to work on. Is like kind of know what I'm trying to go for it would be really useful. But here, I wasn't exactly sure what kind of rock shapes I needed, so I was just painting based on some like whatever black values that were on the ground that I placed for during my Inktober drawing. So just refining more rock shapes. So he's this one he's kind of standing on boulder and then there's like another large piece of boulder right next to him. Now painting in some just like random highlights. Uh, I like to paint highlights next to like dark areas to contrast so it's something to keep in mind of always paint like the highlights next to an area dark to make it pop out and vice versa so here I'm working on the foreground a little bit and as you can see I'm like using a lot of horizontal strokes which starts to make all the diagonal strokes like feel incorrect so I think if I were to redo it and I wanted to keep that that hillside look I probably would focus more on like going towards the direction of the hillside but instead I was doing more horizontal kind of like light shapes so just right here I'm just defining more defining more rocks and see you can see how I fixed that because there were so many horizontal rocks that 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 slant looked wrong so I just selected the whole thing and then transformed it and rotated it to be horizontal 
And now I'm working on the foreground. Uh, I'm trying to keep the foreground dark as well so that the focus is kind of sort of on the center area where it's more light, lighter and contrasty. Adding more rocks. Uh, yeah, more rocks and just some random speckle highlight. Just for like to show, like it elude a sense of scale for rocks. And more rocks. So for rocks, it's it's important to yeah show that sense of scale by like having pebbles here and there just to contrast the 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 scale of the boulders and all that stuff. See, so you could see I removed the the roundness of that rock on the right so that it kind of echoes that that horizontal feel, that flat rock feel. Uh, same thing with the foreground rock. And now I start working on the clouds a little bit. So just remove all those like pen and ink lines that I had from from the original image. Uh, here I copied and pasted one of the rocks to the right so that just to get some texture without having to repaint it. Uh, here I'm painting in the, the dragon a little bit, silhouetting out the teeth probably using lasso tool. Here I'm adjusting the perspective of the foreground rock. It seemed like I was seeing too much of that rock on the angle that the camera was in, so I edited that a little bit. Um, and now I... the original image had trees, so I decided to work on the trees a little bit, but um, I'm gonna quickly give up on that because this tree in particular was competing with the dragon so I decided to just remove it and then I liked how it was barren on the top of a mountain. I, I went hiking recently and we hiked to the top of a mountain and there are actually no trees on top of that mountain so I wanted to emulate that look. Here I, I just did a, a levels pass to make everything a little bit to have more contrasting values and now I start I decided to just remove the trees so I just went forward with it, I removed the trees, and it gave it a different look. It's a little bit more open now. It's not as uh, clustered. Um, here I'm adding the rim light of the clouds. Just quickly like throwing it in there to allude to it a little bit. Um, I painted in some transparent, some subsurface scatter on the, like, the membrane of the dragon, defining the here I'm defining the uh, the jaw a little bit. It's tricky. I don't draw a lot of dragons, so it's hard for me to design it really well. But I think I got lucky with this one. I think it looks fairly cool. Um, if I redo, it, if I were to work on it more, I definitely would define the uh, the the volume of the neck a little bit more, like with some specularity. So here the dragon's kind of like coming out from the clouds. So I quickly created some kind of like wisps of cloud and blurring it really fast just to see if I could like get that effect of the dragon coming out of the clouds. Uh, pinning in some like micro shapes on the clouds and then some more rim light. Here I did like a color dodge to add some like gradient colors. Just some subtle colors to everything to make it not look kind of just like a single color and just refining the clouds a little bit more refine it this is where i start like messing around with oh yeah like that's kind of alluding to the fact that the cloud is semi-transparent so you could see a little bit of the dragon and now i'm like smudging a little bit of the hard edges so that not everything is like super artificial in a way so that it's a little it breaks up the hard edge with a, a soft edge and now I'm still I have a hard time working with the making those those cloud wisps look convincing so here I just made a clump together kind of so that it just breaks up that, that straight line to make it really look like he's emerging from the clouds. Uh, if I were to go like refine it more, I'd probably do more of that in other areas of the painting. And now just working on a dragon a little bit more. And 
oh, here is when I start painting in the foreground character. So it's just a guy in a cloak. Uh, I gave him a sword, so by giving him a sword, it's default kind of like fantasy theme. You could turn it into like a sci-fi theme if you gave him a gun, but since he has a sword, now it's automatically a fantasy kind of theme. And if you like painting tutorials and demos like these, remember to comment below, like, and subscribe. Thanks.